Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Today is going to be a really, really huge Shein haul. I think I have like almost 20 items. You know how we do when we shop Shein. They're so inexpensive that we can get like 20, 25 items for like under 200. I don't even think I spent $200. So we love them. Hopefully things will fit. Um, I already have some things on, so we're excited to get going. Everything is going to be linked down below. I'm going to put the sizing and the price that I paid on the screen. And what else? Measurements are down below with also my height, which is 5'4". So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this try on haul. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. When I put these jeans on and I took them out of the package, I looked at them and I was like, there's just no way. There's no way they're going to fit. I'm going to be so disappointed. I've never tried Shein's denim before. I've never, I, I've tried some of their pants and I really haven't had much luck. It's either they're too big or too small. It's never been that happy medium, but I'm happy to say these fit amazing. They feel amazing. My only complaint, I think these were like $20. My only complaint is this, 4X is their biggest size, which I guess isn't a complaint because that's kind of normal for a plus size, well no, a straight, a junior plus size site, website, store, all of that. But this zipper is very cheap. Like you can tell that when you're un or like unzipping and zipping up, you can just tell the, I mean, you can even hear it. It's not, one of those zippers that's very well made or that's going to just glide it's it has me a little worried i'm not gonna lie like i'm wondering how long these jeans are actually going to last because of that but they fit amazing they are i usually call this like mid-rise but i guess you can call it high rise this is how they look in the back and as you can see they have distressing at the bottom they're really good length for my 5-4 frame so I'm really excited about that and I love the color I just love them they feel really 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 great I actually wore these all day the other day and I had to wash them they had I got pomegranate juice on the back of them so that thankfully came out these have been washed so they wash well and they felt amazing throughout the day um, they're, they have real pockets, which is great. They are stretchy, but not like super stretchy, but they're also not stiff. I have some jeans in there that I tried on and I'm like, can barely move my legs. I can't do the stiff denim. Anyways, this top, I wore this yesterday out and it's so pretty. I love the ruffles right up here on the sleeves and then the, 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 the ruffled lace <laughs> and then the lace right here my only complaint is that and I didn't notice this until I was wearing it for about three hours yesterday this part right here on the inside had me super itchy like it is very irritating and you can feel it it's not the most comfortable shirt but I mean it's really cute it's a really great length it has a nice stretch to it I think that this is a 3x but it's, it's on the screen you guys have seen that um, but yeah it, it looks great it's navy blue this is what it looks like in the back this is great for a church for the office for every day if you can get past the whole scratchiness that happens right here i know you guys are like two mvps so is there anything that you guys think that i can do to put in here to make it so that it's not scratchy i believe that it's this part right here as to why it's scratchy we're gonna leave the denim on for just a little bit more i have a pair of shorts that I need to try on and then I got, I don't know if they're dresses or rompers or a mixture of both, but we have mostly shirts in this haul. This is really cute. I kind of like this as an active shirt, but then I also like this as an everyday, day-to-day -day kind of casual wearing shirt. It's just a really pretty light lavender. It has a little bit of texture to it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I actually just noticed it <laughs> right now and I wore this the other day. 
Um, hits at a great length. Was this a 3X? Yes, 3X. And as you can see, it crisscrosses in the back and it does stay open. So my biggest complaint with this was, I told you I wore this the other day. Okay, so this is how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to stay like that and kind of like this where you just see a little bit of the back, but not all of it. I love the little like tuxedo triangle point that it has at the, the back. But if you bend down, like say you're bending down, the shirt, did it open? I'm like, I, of course it's not doing it now, but literally the other day it was like this, like it just completely opened. And I was like, mm, I don't know about that. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to just do a little stitch right here. So that way I have just a little bit poking, but when I bend down, it's not gonna like flow, you know, in front of me like that. Cause this is super cute. It's like, uh, it's like your normal basic okay looking shirt, but then you turn around and you're like, oh, oh. So it's really cute. This would look really cute with a bralette, like a lacy bralette underneath it. Um, because in the back you'd be able to see it and right here it's a little low too so you can also see my bra so yeah really pretty color feels great super 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 stretchy especially with the fact that you have the open back you have even more room 3x off the shoulder you have the sleeves it's stretchy not super stretchy though like it has some some structure to it not like structure but it has some stiffness to it where it's not stiff it's soft <laughs> what am i trying to say here it doesn't have a whole lot of give so it is going to give you a little bit of that suck you in kind of action not too intense though um how are we feeling about the off the shoulder i keep hearing that it is out and that we are not doing this anymore but part of me is like i don't i'm not ready to give it up yet i still haven't lived my best life in all of the off the shoulder tops, especially this one where it's so cute, it has that detail. Like, oh, but especially with this one where you have the little off the shoulder, little detail going. This is what it looks like in the back. Oh, the tag is showing. So it's really cute. You have to excuse, my skin is feeling like crazy. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but yeah. I like this. What are we thinking? It's a really great length. It feels good. It looks good. I could totally dress this up, dress this down. I feel like this is appropriate for church because your shoulders are out, but not in the way where, you know, you're wearing spaghetti straps. You know, you have a pretty thick strap in the back. So it's kind of like one of those off the shoulder kind of tops. Can you guys hear the rain? It's starting to rain hard. I had to walk in the rain this morning. 45 minutes, it wasn't fun. <laughs> but I only have two more days of 75 hard, and I tell you, I've been loving the results of doing it. Anyways, um, this is so cute. I really, really, really like it. You could also tuck it in, make it a little more dressier. You can kind of do this little thing where you kind of like loop it in your belt loop and kind of add like a little bit of something, something to it. You can, like I said, tuck it in. You can kind of fold it over. You can do many different things with tops like this that have not a whole lot of fabric, or not fabric, but a whole lot of bulk to them. This does not have a whole lot of bulk at all. This top, I absolutely loved on the model. It looked amazing, so much so that I went ahead and I bought two because I'm losing weight and I wanted one for now, and then I wanted one for when the 4X got too big. So this is the 4X. I think it looks great, however, the fabric is so thin and it's a little shorter than what I would like. If I feel like it would uh, stay in this area, like it would stay up here and stay here, I wouldn't be too concerned. However, I know day to day moving around, this is going to like come down like this. I, I just know it, I just know it. It's a very, very, very thin top. So you can already see in the back my bra is showing so I have to pull it up and I don't know so I'm constantly pulling things down when they're this short so do you see what happens it's unfortunate it's a very 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 thin 
thin, delicate shirt, but it is so freaking cute. I wish that it worked for me. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Like I said, I liked it so much that I bought it in two sizes. This one is the 3X. This one is the 4X. This one is a little too big up top. This one fits great up here, and I don't feel like as insecure up here, but it's just a little too, like, you see how short this is? It's just, I need something that's a little thicker up here because I just, I don't, I don't like that. And if you're living your best life and like, I don't know, say you're like doing something, going somewhere, you can, like, I just feel like this would be too easy of a thing to happen. And I just, that's not cute. So unfortunately, as cute as it is, it's just not for me but if you maybe it's the boobs and i don't have big boobs maybe it's i do i do have a really bad habit of like constantly doing this and i already know me i'm constantly doing this which means this is going to constantly happen and i'm going to have to constantly go like this here is this y'all see already i love this if it would actually function and stay where it's supposed to. I don't know what it is about me, but these shirts literally never work for me. But they're so cute, it's this little, do y'all see, oh yeah, it's showing up good. The color or the, the floral pattern that it's got going, it's so cute, but this is how it's going to end up being on me. And I don't like the way that looks. Let me see, yeah, see, I don't like that. I like, this and then obviously if you wanted to you can totally wear it up on the sleeves but again I really don't like that either you also have this showing so it's not my favorite if it stayed off the shoulder I'm like I'd be here for it how cute is that I love 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 this but I don't know why these shirts just never work for me. I always try and I'm always disappointed. So here is this top. It is a size 3X, I think. And I thought this was so cute. I love the way that it looked on the model. I was like, oh my gosh, so adorable. Like, look at that. But it is a little too short for me. I did know it was short, but I felt like it came down at least like maybe right here on the model. I don't know. It does have adjustable straps. I just didn't want to adjust the straps any anymore because then obviously it's going to make the shirt come up. But it's so cute. It does not have any stretch to it at all. So this shirt I feel would have been perfect and would have fit me really good and I wouldn't have minded how short it was. As long as it came like right here, I wouldn't have minded that it came like right there if it was stretchy because it would be a little bit more forgiving and yeah this is so cute though i love love that little fun detail but it's just it's ill-fitting like like i said i can i can tighten this real quick y'all since i lost weight i'm able to do this i was never i was not like 20 pounds ago i was not able to adjust straps like this i always had to take everything off because I couldn't reach back there. Now I can. <laughs> the benefits of losing weight. So I'm gonna put this, where did I put it? Like middle. So yeah, you see how short it got? And then we still have this little issue right here, which is pretty common with Shein on me, especially with their spaghetti strap stuff which that isn't bad if I didn't have this issue. Like that's that's a little too short for me. That's switching speeds a little bit and going into a dress. This is a black floral dress. Hold on, let me put these in. It has a scalloped edge. It has straps go around right here that are a little, little higher up than spaghetti straps would be, but not quite a halter. Again, like I said earlier, this is an ongoing issue with me with Shein with these kind of shirts and it is definitely a little too big on the side. That's how it looks in the back and it goes a little bit below the knee. I got this in a 4X. 
I should have stayed true to size, which was a 3X, but I never know with Shein, so I was kind of skeptical, and I was like, I don't know, let's go ahead and go to the 4X, but I should have stayed with the 3X. This has tons of space, so definitely stay true to size with this dress because if you have bigger breasts, bigger boobs, I feel weird saying breasts, um, you're, you have plenty of room. It's very stretchy. This is stretchy up here. It's just stretchy all around. So it's too big for me up top. It is not super tight right here. Like it has stretch in the waist and because of the stretch in the waist and then this is super stretchy too, I definitely feel like I could have went to a 3X. So again, on this one, stay true to size. By the way, I keep forgetting to mention that, especially when it comes to Shein, it's like their sizes can be all over the place. So it's been on the screen this whole entire time, whether I feel like you should size up or stay true to size. I am, if I go to Torrid, I'm a true size 22 on bottom, and I'm now a 2X on top. I can wear some of their 3Xs, but some of their, most of their 3Xs are now kind of small. And please bear with me with sizing because as I lose weight, it's kind of hard to determine like, am I a 3X, am I a 2X? So I'm gonna say 18, 20 up top, true 22 for sure on bottom. And this just goes to show, this is a perfect example of Shein's sizing issue. This is a 4X, and as you can see, I would actually need a 5X in order for this to work. It's too tight, it, it's not stretchy at all. Um, as a matter of fact, it's obviously, as you can see, it's too big right here, but I can't even get it closed. Hold on, there's a little button. Hold please, I might have misspoken. But yeah, you see, it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little tight. There's no stretch to this. And because of that, it's just not going to work. Now I have these straps adjusted all the way to the top and they are adjustable, but this is just a big no on my butt. Like, do I even want to turn around? I'm scared to see where this is, where this is landing. Oh, hold up. I was about to say, I knew something didn't feel right. Is this supposed to be shorter right there? Probably. So, I mean, it's actually longer in the back than it is in the front, which is very rare for me. Um, but I think it's because it's supposed to be short right there. This actually isn't bad. Well, yeah, it is because of this. I would definitely need a 5X. I don't think that they have a 5X. I think that 4X is their biggest size. These sleeves, believe it or not, are the only thing on here that have stretch. These are stretchy. The thing that really doesn't need to be because they literally are just sitting on your shoulders. They, they, they don't even like go around your arm or anything. I think I had it twisted a little bit wrong, which was why it was like so, but it's still just not me and you might not be able to see it on camera because as I'm looking I'm like it doesn't look bad but it doesn't have any stretch to it and well it has stretch in the waist but I don't like how this is so tight on like probably the smallest area of my body. These are 4x they feel great they're distressed I love the little dark right here um, what would you call this? Not like quite distress, but the color, the color bleaching. I like that. Some people do, some people don't. I feel like it kind of makes my thighs look a little smaller. Maybe not so much in these. Are they doing it? I don't know. But they're cute. They're a little longer than I normally get in Bermudas because they literally go like past the knee. Um, of course I can always try to, yeah, I don't really like these. I don't really care for them. Uh, but here is this shirt. The shorts are size 4X, by the way, and they fit really well. They're nice and stretchy. They fit good. They feel good. They have pockets. It is really raining out there. Um, I feel like. This zipper is a little bit better quality than the denim, but still not like superior quality. 
This top right here is a size 4X. I sized up because I knew it was not a stretchy fabric. It's pretty. I like the little crocheted sleeves, little bell sleeves. Really cute. You have this little keyhole detail right there. I just, because these shirts on me, they don't stretch. I normally tend to I feel like these these shirts are meant to tuck in and I'm not a big tuck in person. I never have been. They're just that shirt that, you know, when it kind of like goes up, it just kind of it doesn't flow on the body right. So I usually tend to stay away from these, which I don't know why I got it. I must have liked the pattern, but I don't like it on me, so. Anyways, it has this little thing that you can, it has a little tiny button with the stretch hole and you can put it in there and close it. I'm not going to because it's going to make it harder for me to get off of my head. But yeah, definitely size up on these, especially if you have a tummy. It fits great in the arms. I like the way that it feels. Size 3X would not go like true to size for sure, but only if you have big boobs. If you have boobs like me and they're on the smaller side, this isn't going to work for you because I don't know if you can see. There's just a little too much room for my liking in between. Like you could literally, like if someone is taller than me standing next to me, they can literally look and see my bra. So it's unfortunate though because this is so cute. I love, love, love the colors. It's a perfect spring top. I just, I absolutely love it. It has a stretchy waist. It's stretchy in the back, not in the, not in the front. I love the little crisscross that's got going on right here. I just wish that either it had silicone right here, which it doesn't, which most strapless tops do, which that's kind of weird that it doesn't. You know, I'm still red. How am I still red when I'm not even like burned anymore? I don't know. Anyways, this is what it looks like in the back. Like I said, it has that accordion stretch going on. I really, really, really like this top and I think that it's so pretty. I just fear it's just, it's just too, I wonder if I size down, I feel like it would be too tight in the stomach because I feel like it's a perfect fit right here. This shirt is definitely stepping out of my comfort zone because I do not own anything this color, but trying new things, stepping out of our comfort zone. If you guys don't know, I actually have a series on my weight loss channel where I'm doing just that. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. It's called Out of the Bubble, and we're having lots of fun over there. So go subscribe to the weight loss channel if you guys aren't already. Um, but this, again, huge out of my comfort zone this is a 3x yes I would definitely need to size up but only if I was crazy about this length but then if I size up this would be big which is not an issue because I could always just because it's actually big on me now as I tighten it right now I'm like oh that's a perfect fit right there and it's not gonna move but as you can see this is not a perfect fit <laughs> So, and I also am not really sure about this color. Last but not least is this top right here. I got this to be a workout top. I think it's really cute. I also think it would be really cute with a bralette up underneath it. I just don't like how clingy it is. So I definitely should have sized up on this one. So if you have a tummy, it's just that it's that kind of material. It's that stuck to you. It, suction to you. It has stretch to it, but it's like that cling. What is it? 86% polyester, 14% spandex. So it's very stretchy, but it's very, very, very clingy. So as you can see, it is a little big right here, which is why I was saying I was going to, like it would be perfect for me to work out in or to wear it with something casual with some shorts like this and then do a little bralette because then in the back you have this large keyhole which would be so pretty for the bralette to be peeking through but I don't know I'm kind of like I don't like it but then I'm like if it's just a workout shirt it might be okay so that is everything I hope that you guys enjoyed everything's going to be linked down below 
Again, my measurement my measurements are also down there. And let me know where you guys want me to go shopping next. I can't wait until I get to that size 18, 16 area in that sizing so I can venture out and try more straight size places. But for now, we're still kind of stuck to straight plus size and then the very, very tippy top of the straight size. Hold on, the plus size. <sighs> the straight size plus size places. Love you guys. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.